I got a couple of questions about the Precision Matthews 12 by 36 mil I bought. And I'm I'm brand new at this. I like the machine, uh, but the, and the only issue I had is just the light bulb burned out and then you know another light burned out on there. That's it. Except the other day I started looking at my uh, the quick change tool posts that I got. Uh, a kit that I ordered from him. I'm trying to learn how to thread. And I, it just, I can't get it. And I know I'm, I'm, the procedures I'm using are correctly, but the threads just came out uh, really nasty, even sharp cutting my fingers and stuff if you run them over the threads. And I got it the thread on, but it's just a terrible looking thread and it doesn't look like it's cut right. So I started looking at the quick change uh, uh, that I got right so I, I put it in there and I noticed that it moves right here I'd say when I push completely back against the tool that's flush but then when I tighten these down it kicks the tool down and I'm wondering if that was normal so I thought okay this one here's the you know, the, the 250 202, then I'll get the other one and see if maybe that one, the tool will be flush. And the other thing I noticed too on my tools, see if, see if you can see that. Of course, it's busted off. I busted that. But the wear mark as I'm cutting with this goes way down and it's kind of distorted. Uh, and I'm wondering if it's offset like that, is that why I'm busting these inserts? And is it really supposed to wear like that? and a little bit of wear on the front, and that could be me not lining it up correctly or a combination of me not knowing what I'm doing and as you tighten it, it kicks the tool down, down this way so it's not really uh, what perpendicular or parallel to the work piece that I'm cutting so what I did was on this one right here I ground a uh, 60 degree cutter I had to make a jig for it. I just can't do it by eye. So I made a jig and I made the cutter. And then what I did was the gap is 12 thousandths. So I put a 12 thousandths feeler gauge. Right there you can see it sticking out. I put a feeler gauge in there and took it up. My threads are actually starting to look pretty good. So I'm wondering if is it a, is it a problem with this tool holder that I'm having. I, I still need to work on, you know, uh, grinding these bits and stuff but I'm getting a lot closer and now I'm actually making a little bit of progress uh, the tool uh, the threads came out nicer not perfect so I got some work to do but do I have a problem with this thanks